Hi everyone, Steve Lay from Lay 2 Real Estate. We're down here at the Bayswater Bowling Club with Sam Masidi from Community Connecting Youth. And what we're all about today is just getting some words from Sam about what's actually look, the future's gonna look like, what, what we'd like to happen here. Uh, personally, uh, my wife and I are actually gonna be joining the, the community garden. We're looking for more people to yeah. join, is that right, Sam? Definitely, definitely. It's yeah. a community project and needs the community. Yeah, yeah, needs the community. So, as you can see in the background, there's already off to a flying start. It was a little bit slow in the first couple of years, but Sam and uh, his, his good friend Aaron have been coming down regularly. The uh, Dad's Army here at the Bayswater <laughs> Bowling Club, Alec and, and Bert Paravincini, uh, Graham Champion, they've yep. all been involved in getting some more beds in. But the, the community connecting youth, it's actually brought a different spin yep. to, the, to the community garden. So along with the community, mm. we're trying to get the community involved in it. What's the, tell us a bit about well, community Community connecting, connecting youth's been running for about three years and um, I've got a history of uh, working with uh, young people at risk. Right. So we've been doing that for 30 odd years. And uh, I've got a bit of a connection with the city of Bayswater. We actually uh, set up when I was working with OutCare, the art house on Guildford Road. Okay. And uh, worked with a lot of young people. And young people need tactile um, uh, projects to get their hands dirty and stuff like that and this is an ideal scenario for us is to be able to have young people coming here and lend a hand in working with uh, getting the gardens going and then having senior people within the district and community members yes. getting involved so there's that interaction of community youth and community and these kids then become and feel part of the community so with that I mean we're talking about the, the outreach type situation yep. and, the, and the, the connecting the youth to what the tactile yep. growing of vegetables and, and, and uh, herbs and what have you as the cockatoos fly past. It's great to see, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. You can probably see them in the background. The So if you've got kids and you want to, as a family, be involved with this, you can come down, Definitely. join as a family unit. There's going to be plenty of produce here. There's already produce yeah. coming down. If we can get more people involved in here, we can actually... Uh, feed a lot more people. Yeah, definitely and, and I mean one of the things that's been really great is Aaron our volunteer he's unfortunately not not terribly well so uh, good, well wishes to him today and to Pat because Pat and I yeah, go away I big, go back a long way. Big shout out to Pat Lim she's yeah. a driving force behind this. And uh, we we've been pickling a lot of the vegetables uh, we've uh, got a whole pile of stuff there that we want to be able to share with the community yes. uh, and so the more people we get on board the more of Aaron's experience as a retired chef yes. uh, he can pass on to kids and adults alike so that we can get back to some of the basics that this community over the last few weeks has definitely gotten involved in I yes. mean there's a lot of cooking going on out there yeah. I don't know how good it is but there's a lot of cooking going on out there so I think it'd be great for people to just link into some of the fresh produce here and, and be able to enjoy it do, you know making something with their kids there's a few things you want to do here yeah. you know extras you want to yeah. try and grow into this and, and add on yeah. as the as time goes by can you tell us a bit about that well currently we we've got an art program that's been facilitated unfortunately due to the COVID-19 uh, we've had to put that on hold but that was being supported by Waypole and uh, it's called LAG which is Living Art Garden Program. Okay. So basically the kids are painting and identifying with vegetables and stuff like that. So they're going to be doing that. But the they're other making thing, the signs that go the on signs the vegetable that we, beds. Yeah, okay. we can put up in the vegetable beds. But yep. the other things that are really important, if, if you have a look down in that back corner under the mulberry tree, that is an amazing piece of Bayswater history. And so, you know, keeping that there, we want to be able to put a shade sail underneath. We want to be able to pave that area. We're fortunate we got some pavers, but there's only two of us. And, you know, yeah. although I don't like being called an old fart, I can't do it all myself. Yeah. So we're really hoping that we can get some so community in to help us. It's a blend of community getting involved in yep. the garden and helping grow it. Yes. I've seen this. I mean, most people would know about City Farm. Yep. I mean, that's evolved over a lot of years, and yeah. there's a lot of facilities. There's even a cafe in there. Oh, yeah, the cafe's still going today, so yeah. it's magic. It's, you know? a, it's yeah. a great environment, and everyone's yeah. got their own patches, but mm. it's a bit more collaborative down here. Yes. Late to Real Estate Bayswater, we're going to get behind this, and we're going to do some sponsorship, which Sam magic. doesn't know about yet, but we're no. actually going to be sponsoring this uh, garden a bit more because we want to see it get off the ground. Now, I think one of the key, sorry uh, Stephen, but yeah. I think one of the key factors that I want the community to, to really understand about is, you've probably seen the background pallets and stuff like that. Yeah. What we're doing is recycling the hell of a lot of stuff 
in building and making the garden beds, the raised garden beds. So, you know, that's one of the pluses for us is if we can get the community, especially kids involved, learning about how to grow, propagate and everything like that, but also utilising stuff that we've already got laying around. I mean, how many pellets do we see on the side of the road? Yeah. And I mean, one of the things for us is making sure that we can give back to the community without leaving a huge well, footprint. We, we, with more community involvement, we can shout out to the community, hey, we need pellets yep. or we need some labour this week or the next two weeks to help grow, yeah. you know, grow the garden beds or make the garden beds. The kids can come down and get involved. It's just a, it's a family project. And I think Bayswater as a community, mm. there's a lot of families here. And I think there is, oh, I know there's a lot of benefit to this. Well, and we've got, we've got a, a, a daycare centre that we supply the fruit and uh, veggies, some of the fruit, the dragon fruit that we make, yes. uh, to a bunch of kids up at um, the Cora Daycare Centre in Espen Street in Bayswater. And, and that's an amazing little place that, yeah. that uh, needs that sort of help. So we want to do it within the community. And you donate. You donate yeah. food to places as yeah. well. So there's another thing that the, the community garden can do. Sam, is there anything else you'd like to say to the community in regards to, you know, what's the, what's the cost to actually get involved? Well, the, the, the reality of, of something this big uh, is that it does cost money. And if people want to be able to utilise it, uh, there's two ways they can do it. They can either come as a volunteer and, and uh, for that it's $10 a year okay. uh, and we register them under CCY Inc and that's a fully charitable organisation and obviously it's the Bayswater Community Garden and the other side of the coin is if they just want to be able to come in and get some food uh, when we're open uh, which uh, at the moment is five days a week then uh, we're more than happy for them to become members at $30 a year and that way they can just come down and grab some yeah. some fruit and But veggies. I think ultimately we'd like people to come and actually Yes, eat. get involved. Let's make some more beds. Let's get you involved yeah. in and growing and nurturing and, and yeah. bringing the kids down here and show them how it's done. I know some of the schools are already doing this type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So potentially there's a, an add-on here for the families. Definitely. You know, you, if you wanted to have your own bed, can they have their own bed and Definitely. grow their own yeah. stuff? Yeah, we've got actually a, a tomato bed over the other side there that uh, belongs to one of the lads uh, that's under the NDIS, uh, NDIS program. So right. he comes from uh, um, a sheltered w uh, workshop environment. Right. And uh, a hi to Alan out there. So he comes down and he spends a couple of days yeah. here. So there's, there's, a, there's, I, there's ideas everywhere. So yeah. we're looking for community input. It's to, to the community garden. It's very important that, you know, for the community. So, Sam, I'd like to thank you very much on behalf of Leitu Real Estate for, uh, for doing this. And I know the Bayswater Bowling Club appreciate it. You've even been supplying bits and pieces for the, the Bayswater Bowling Club as well. The, 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 the bowlers get the benefit of this as well. So let's try and grow this together. Sam Masudi from Community Connecting News, thank you very much for coming today and interviewing. Thank you. All right. And an elbow to you too. <laughs> Ciao for now. See you.